A very good morning to all my dear students of class four. Okay, today we are going to start with chapter number eight, features of file management. Okay, in this chapter we will learn about steps how to create a file, how to delete a folder, how to create a folder and a subfolder. Okay, information is stored in a file and all the related files are clubbed inside a folder. Okay, what is a folder? A folder is like a file cabinet. A folder is like a file cabinet and arranging file in it makes it easy to create locate the file. Okay, a folder can hold other files or other folder as well. Okay, a folder, a single folder with another folder if one folder is inside the other folder, that is known as a subfolder. Okay, moving forward, first we will start how to create a file. Okay, what are the steps? So, how to create a file? So, step number one is open Microsoft Word. So, look at the projector, open Microsoft Word. Okay, after that, a bank. Blank pages displays on the screen. That means you can see a blank page, or, or this one is known as a document area. After that, we you start typing the text in this document or area. Okay, so so I have typed out here some words. Okay, after that, after completing the work, save your file by clicking the file tag. First you click on the file tag. Okay, out here in the file tag you will see a save option. So, we will be seen a save option. Click on this save option. Okay, after that you have to write the name of your file by typing a suitable name for your file name. So, out here, file name, you write the name of your file. So, for this file, I will be writing as class 4. Okay, what is the last step? After that, this creates a new file. Okay, file name box project in the save as dialog box. So, after that, click on the save option. Okay, that means now your file has been saved. Step number two, how to create a folder. How will you create a folder? Okay. Okay, to create a folder, the first step is right click on the blank area on the desktop. So what is a desktop? The first screen which you see is a desktop. So take a cursor in the blank area. So our cursor is here. We have to click right click. Okay, after clicking, you will find a, you will find a dialog box. So in that you will see an option called new. Go to new. Okay, after clicking on new, you find an option called folder. That means if you click on this one, you create a folder. So, new folder. So, this will be the folder which I have created and let me name this at class Centuries School. Okay. Yes, X, X. So, this is the name of a folder. Okay, the next one is how will you copy your file? What is copy? Copying a file or a folder means to create a duplicate copy of the selected file or a folder. Uh, for this one, double click on my computer, go to desktop, click on double click on the link, drive, you find the file and folder. Okay, in simple uh, steps, I will show you how will you copy a file or a folder. Okay, there is a file out here, it's written. Class A WPS Office. Okay, so if I need to copy this file to this folder, how will I do? So go to this file, right click on it. 
nitric olein and there is also called copy click on this copy and move to this folder take a cursor double click on it okay there is also called paste did you see that one so click on paste okay now click on your folder Okay, now see, we have copied that documents class A WPS offline. So in this way, it's a simple way to copy your file or a folder. Okay, next one is renaming a file or a folder. How will you rename rename a file or a file or a folder? So if I have to rename this folder. The name of the folder is SSX. So I want to rename this folder as my folder. Okay. So how will I do? Go take a cursor in this folder and right click on it. Okay. Out here you can see different option. So there is an option called rename. Just with a click, there is option called rename. Go to click on this option. Okay, now you can rename your file or a folder. So I will, this file will be my folder. Okay, so so what is my name of my this file? The new name is my folder. So in this way, you can rename a file or a folder. Okay. So next one is how will you delete a file or a folder? In simple word, if you want to delete a file or folder, just go to this folder option. Same as right click the folder option, you will find an option called delete. So click on this delete. See now you can see the folder has been deleted. Okay, and sometimes when you by mistake if you have deleted your file and folder. You can restore that file or folder from recycle bin. So now next step is how will restore your file or a folder? Okay, go to the recycle bin icon. I see it's like it's a dustbin of a computer. Okay, so whatever file and folder you have deleted, it goes to the recycle bin. Okay, so go to the recycle bin icon. Double click on it. Okay, now you can see your folder, my folder. We have deleted that folder. So if you want to restore the same folder, you go to that folder, double click on it, and there is an option called restore. So click on this option and click on OK. Okay, now you can see where is the folder. The folder has come back to the desktop. My folder. Okay, in this way you can delete and you can restore your uh, file or folder from the recycle bin. Okay, there are some work techniques. Okay, while doing your uh, work, so we should not open other files or folder without their prior permission. Understood? And avoid copying your work. And projecting it as your own. And last one, do not send your other file and folder by changing their name, their content, or renaming them or changing their location. Okay, my dear children, with this we have come to the end of this chapter, chapter number eight. Okay, next class we are going to move with the other chapter that starts. Hmm. Stay wise thinking. Okay, till then, stay home and stay safe.